Hi guys, welcome at Photoshop Island. My name is Jelge and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to reduce weight, remove fat and make your body more slim. Basically what we will be doing here is uh, remove some uh, love handles like here and a bit of a belly uh, like here. We're not using a picture of a girl or whatever with a big ass because well you know you can use it for whatever you like but I think you will mainly use it just for some small adjustments like this and not to make someone weight half the weight he or she actually does. Now, therefore I took this picture of myself on the beach in Thailand a few years ago. I have some weight here and weight here that I really want to get rid of. And I have a coconut here that washed ashore. Well, what is the result we're going for? Well, this is what we want. So this is what we got now. And we want this it looks better you know the belly is gone there's less unnecessary weight over here and just for fun in the tutorial i made a bit of a more muscles in the arms to show you how some other options work and well let's get started all right this layer uh, will be removed for now we don't need it we're going to make a new layer always make a new layer ctrl j can be used as well but use a new layer why because you don't want to adjust the original image you will have a problem if you have to go back too far good now the tool we will be working with is actually a filter and it is the liquify filter and the liquify filter is where the magic happens well you see a window popping up and here is a picture of me on the beach and here are the the options you have the forward warp tool and maybe I should show what I do. This is the main tool you will be using. And this will press the image in a direction. Well, we will not be using the reconstruction tool. Through a clockwise tool is really not something you want to use here. The pucker tool you might use, but not in this picture because it isn't really useful for this image. It's more for if you want to correct legs or anything like that this one is the blow tool we use this to give some more muscles but you can also use this for bigger breast or maybe a kim kardashian ass it will uh, save you some surgery money well let's go to the freeze mask tool and to freeze mask tool basically the freeze mask what it does is it creates a mask over areas you don't want to influence by the other tools now this is important because when you start using the warp tool, for example like this, you see the fisherman and the rock moving as well. You don't want that because they have to be horizontal. So therefore you will apply a mask over it and you won't have that problem. Now here we have the tool options. The brush size, of course, make sure that the brush size you're using is actually the size that suits the, the size you're using it for. So if you're using a too small of a brush, for example, well, let's uh, use the go somewhere. When you use it, you see you will create some areas you don't want. It has to be more like an overall adjustment. So the density, you know, you can compare it with the normal brushes, hardness, softness, density lower. It's a soft brush, density higher, it's a hard brush. And the brush pressure that basically influence the pressure of the breath so to say and you can have it a bit more in the direction of 100 if you want but you have to experiment with it it can be different for each image breast density i mainly have it on somewhere around 50. these are the mask options you won't be using them this is to show the image this is to show the mask and to show the backdrop is when you make your adjustments and you click on this option you will see the original image in the background so to say now let's start by the adjustments of course we want to apply a mask first let's zoom in Control plus here we have it now for this we want a brush density of 100 percent because we do not want any soft edges around the brush so i will be making a bit of a brush here 
And I've good to use a smaller size, but well, uh, who cares? Maybe make it a bit smaller here. And you know, the square brackets open and close will make your brush size bigger or smaller. So, great. Now, let's zoom out a bit. Good. We want to adjust the belly first. So, we're going to the forward warp tool. We go for a size we think suits the body size. And I would say well, the body pressure let's, of the brush pressure 100. And maybe in, this is a bit too big. 250 might be right. Now, you've got to see it this way. The cross is where the pressure is and the circle is what it influences. So, there you see on the top of the circle you see an edge and until that spot is actually what you're moving so keep that in mind and also try to use to, to press only if you start brushing it doesn't really matter for well for this but I can show you what happens if you brush. You know, you really move position of areas and you don't want it because you don't want to move the belly button up there, for example. And so basically all you do is you give it some pressure. Maybe you want to move this out a bit. And well, there we have it. The belly is adjusted. Now let's adjust this part as well. Now as you see, we do influence everything around there except for the fisherman. Okay, make it a bit smaller. And now we have to pull the pens down a bit because if you have it too much up there it still looks as if it's uh, being held on on its place by a belly and you want it more straight so and this has to go up a bit and maybe just this a little bit in that direction okay This is great, isn't it? We can try if the pucker tool will help us out a bit with making this disappear. And now let's push back a bit. of the flash here great as you can see we now have an adjusted body and the fisherman isn't adjusted only you see a small blue spot over there and we don't want it we will adjust that later on for now it's okay of course what we can do is give it a bit of a brush over here or uh, the the mask and then pull up the water line but basically I think it's better to just adjust this later on by using the patch or the brush healing tool whatever let's remove the mask make it a bit bigger goes faster and there you have it I'm a lot smaller now okay now 
what do we want to adjust as well? We want to give us a bit of a, with the blow tool, a bit of uh, some muscles. So, basically, you will just give it some pressure at some points. Do the same over here. And you see the arms getting bigger. Now, if you're using this tool for something like this, keep in mind that it's a bit strange if you use it only on the muscles and your arm keep the normal size. So everything has to be adjusted in size a bit. And I'm not going to be spending too much attention to this because that's not really what this tutorial is about. But this is what we got now. And is it what what before? Well, I think it's uh, it's a great adjustment. I'd rather come home with a picture like this than uh, with a picture like that. I would say try it yourself. Enjoy experimenting with it. If you liked the tutorial, I'd love to see a like. And I'd love to see you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next tutorial.